Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's another Felici Friday. I hope you guys had a good week. Like, oh, January, huh? Uh, although, uh, you know, there's something to be said for the start of a new year, the new beginning, like you're gonna start fresh, maybe make some changes. So I think that, you know, it's a good thing too. So, hey, Wendy, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Welcome, welcome. So yeah, let's see what's been going on. I always like to chit chat a little bit while people are popping on. Um, well, you can see I got my um, Nikki. Hello, hello, welcome. I got my Alma basketball sweatshirt on. So it's like basketball season. Nancy, hello, good morning, welcome. Hey, oh, I'm so glad you guys could all join us. And Sharon, hello, good morning. Um, so yeah, let's see, basketball has been going on. We got a game tonight. Um, hopefully they play well. We've had this rather up and down season. Um, we actually had an away game on Tuesday night in Freeland, Michigan, and we were down pretty much the whole game, and then they rallied at the very end and almost came back. They, um, uh, let's see, they, I think they ended up losing by like three points. So, um, you know, here I am like, well, you know, that would have been really bad for Freeland if they were up the whole game. And then at the very end, we came back and beat them. Although it would have been pretty awesome for us. So anyway, yeah, they could not make a basket. I don't even know what their uh, shooting percentage was, but I feel like it was super low. Like, you know, if any one of one or two of those shots had gone in, uh, you know, it would have been a different story, but that's what you can say about every game, right? So yeah, so we're hoping uh, this tonight it will be home game too because I think the weather is going to get kind of weird around here. Tomorrow is supposed to be really ugly. Um, oh yeah and today is my dad's birthday and we are actually supposed to go to Lansing tomorrow to meet my mom's um, brother's family and we had to nix that because the weather is going to be so bad. So hey Kay, hello Rosemary, I'm glad you guys can join us. Rosemary, I'll see you soon at the stamp studio for class. Oh, you have a four-year-old, Sharon is saying, in her craft room. Hey, well, hi, little buddy. I hope you're being a good helper for grandma and helping her get everything uh, situated, maybe, getting her all organized in her craft room that she's moved from down in the basement upstairs. So that's awesome. Then she'll have lots of light and windows uh, to work by. So um, yeah, so what else is going on? Oh, we had dance convention last weekend. Um, I don't think I posted it on here, but... So Lily, they basically, they had classes like all day Friday and all day, no, all day Saturday and all day Sunday. And then Saturday evening, they actually did um, some competing. So if they wanted to bring a dance to compete, they could do that. And um, the one dance that Lily was in that they competed in, they, it's called Beetlejuice. Well, I, that's what they call it. I don't even know the name of the song, but Anyway, they they dress up in like this whole like crazy Beetlejuice costume, this like black and white stripe, and they have like this crazy like old man hair that's like sticking out all over the place, this gray hair, funny wig, and then they put like a bunch of black eye makeup, makeup under their eyes. So most of them look like their eyes are closed. <laughs> Most, like I took a picture and I was like, their eyes are all closed. No, they're open. It's just all that black makeup. So anyway, they, um, what, what, I don't remember the exact award that they got, but it was kind of like most an entertaining dance of the whole competition. And they, they started at like three o'clock and went until like 1130 dances. And every two to three minutes there was a dance. So there were a lot of dances. So it was really, really cool for them to get this like most entertaining dance award. So then they actually, the next day at the end of the day, and all the moms were like, oh, great. And the kids might have felt that way too. They got invited back to perform at the end of the um, convention. They got to perform their Beetlejuice dance again, which meant they had to get, you know, back in their costumes, get their own makeup all done, get the black makeup, get their wigs on. Anyway, so it was great. It was like a huge honor, but at the same time, you're, you know, everyone's exhausted and ready to go home too. And then they had to do this at the end of it all. So I'm missing all these hellos. Hey, Susie. Hey, Sally. I think I missed. So hopefully I didn't miss anybody else. So thank you guys. I'm just chatting away while you guys are popping on and I want to say welcome anybody new that's watching Facebook live for the first time. Just so you know, I always have to give like a little quick update um, about what's going on while people are popping on so you don't miss anything, right? Um, if you're running a minute or two late. Um, so yeah, but please, if you're new to the live or if you're watching later on YouTube, leave a comment. Please say hello. I always love to hear from you guys, even if you're like 
Oh, she's not talking to me. She's talking to somebody else. No, I'm talking to you. Say hello. Let me know that you're here. I love to meet new friends too. So, um, okay. You know, me and my, I got my list. I always have my list because I don't know how people do this without a list. I would forget like a lot of stuff if I didn't uh, review my list. So let's see. Okay. Well, you guys know, sell hey, Darlene, how are you? Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, celebration is in full swing. I always, I get to show my catalogs now, which I love. So if you do not have a copy of the celebration brochure yet, let me know. I would love to get one sent out to you. Just send me a message, give me your address, and I'm happy to do that. Um, so in here are all the free items that you can get with your $50 order. So for every $50 order between now, hey Darlene, Happy New Year, uh, between now and March 31st, you get to pick a free item out of here. And I know there's gonna be a second release of items, so there will be um, a few more, like a handful more to choose from. Um, I don't have exact dates on that. Usually it's sometime February or March. Uh, but anyway, that you know, don't worry about that right now. You've got lots of great items. The one thing I know from past years, there are occasionally things in this brochure that sell out before March 31st. So if there's something, I'll say I don't, stamp sets are not gonna sell out, but any of the other, maybe the paper or the, um, yeah, the, either of the paper packs, the Lily Impressions or the Golden Honey Designer Series paper. Make sure you get that. That Kerchief card kit is super cute. And I actually was going to show you guys that. I'm going to have to do that next week because I made those cards and they're super, super cute. So that's another one. Anything kind of consumable, right? The Metallic Baker's Twine and Sequins Combo Pack. So if you love those things, I would get those um, as soon as you can just to be safe. Like I said, stamp sets, uh, we make those. So there's less of a, you know, those aren't gonna sell out. Um, the punch, we do not make. Um, I would guess that should be okay, but you know, just to be safe, I hate for people to not get that what they want. So if it's in your budget, get your order in as soon as you can. I'm gonna give you a host code in just a little while um, to use, because then you get fun free stuff from me too. Ah, Sally got her paper trimmer. It's so, yes, it is so tiny and cute. So Sally's referring to the um, starter kit that you can get. Um, and I wasn't even going to mention this because I'm like, I can't mention that every week, can I? But Sally, you got me started on it. So just so you guys know, if you want to basically become a demonstrator, if you want to really basically, if you want to get a great deal, become a demonstrator by the starter kit. I put quotes on all these because seriously, it's basically, if you get the starter kit, it's just because you want to get a great deal. And then you can do whatever you want with it from there. But Sally's referring to the super cute little, I didn't bring it over, but that little baby paper trimmer. And it's really, uh, I don't even know if it's like four or five inches wide. It's not very big, but it's super, no, it's not even four inches. I don't know. I don't have it right in front of me and I cannot read that. So anyway, you get a cute little paper trimmer. You get a sampler pack of designer series paper. And then where do they show? Oh, right here. Free stamp set. Whatever set you want. I already went through the list in the annual catalog is where you can scroll through the index in the very back. Find the most expensive stamp sets. Check those out. If you don't have one of those and you love it, get one of those. I mean, you can get whatever you want, but why would you get a $17 stamp set when you can get, like, I think there were some, there, there was one that was like $43. So anyway, um, but you only pay $99. You get to pick $125 and stuff, whatever else you want. You can pick out of the new spring mini catalog. You can pick out of the um, annual catalog. You just can't pick anything out of the celebration brochure. That is your next step. Once you get your starter kit, put your first order in. The kind of the sweet spot, I know I mentioned this before, but I love this because people haven't really quite understood it yet, I don't think, is um, in the back of the celebration brochure again. Oh, what is that? Page 16 and 17. Um, it talks about hosting and it has all the host benefits. So whether you're a demonstrator or not, um, check out the host rewards because uh, so if you're a demonstrator, you can put, um, and this is that sweet spot, if you put a $300 order in, you, can, you can't read that, but basically a $300 mark is right here. You get this free stamp set. You get this super cute little um, ladybug, right? Yep, little ladybug. It's called little ladybug stamp set free in addition to your host rewards, which are 12% of $300, so at least $36 in free stuff plus a $300 order also gets you six free $50 celebration items, right? So six celebration items, $36 in host rewards, 
and that super cute little ladybug, little ladybug stamp set. Yeah, little ladybug. So you can, if you're a demonstrator, you're gonna get your 20% discount off of that too, right? If you bought the starter kit. If not, you can just put that big order in and get that stamp set yourself too. So it's totally up to you whether you uh, get the starter kit and do it that way or you just put a big order in. The one thing I will tell you guys is make sure if you use the host code, don't use that for online orders that are more than $150 because I want you to get the host rewards that start they start at $150, okay? Nancy, hello, I'm glad you can join us. And Sally's saying she got the little ladybug stamp set. It's super cute, she says. I Mine is coming. Um, we could have like ordered and paid for it before celebration started and I was too cheap to do that. So I waited until I had my $300 order and then now I'm gonna get that for free. So I, it'll be here. I think all that stuff's coming Monday. You know, everybody put their pre-order in on January 3rd and then it takes a while, especially here to Michigan. It's like a week or more to get our orders. So yeah, I'll have lots of new stuff to show you guys next week too. Um, okay, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions on that. I got a little sidetracked. That's all right though, but that's the huge, I think. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna do our first drawing for the heart doilies. And these are the cute doilies that we say they come in. And I think that is like low today, isn't it? I wanna like stand down here. But then you can't see my um, basketball sweatshirt, right? <laughs> so, okay, the doilies, we are kind of jokingly, but not saying they come in three colors, right? We have real red, we have flirty flamingo, and then we have white on the back, which actually I was showing you guys the other day. So there's the flirty flamingo. I feel like you can almost see the detail a little bit better. It stands out just against that crisp white there. Um, let's see, Nancy, how did I get what? How did you get it? Tell, to ask, tell me, how did I get what? I don't know what you're asking me, Nancy. <laughs> hmm. Trying to think, well, yeah. Type me another comment. Let me know what you're asking about, okay? And I'll tell you how I got it. Um, okay, so we are doing the drawing, like I said, for the heart doilies. If you shared the Facebook Live video, that's all you have to do. And I know I said, I love for you guys to share if you're a part of other crafting groups. That is a huge way for me to um, reach even more people that might be interested in knowing what we're doing here on our fun Facebook Lives. So I love for you to share on your personal page. And then, like I said, on any crafting groups that you're a part of, I love for you to share our Facebook Live video there as well. Your name is also in here if you just signed up for my email list. And that link is um, on my blog at gathering ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com if you have not signed up for my email list yet. Okay? All right. So here we go. We are tossing these names around. Oh, there are a whole bunch of them stuck together. All right. Get, make sure I just have one. And it goes to Miss Debbie Green. Well, congratulations, Debbie. I will get your new heart doilies sent out to you. So thank you for sharing the video. All right, I gotta dump those out, set those things over here. So I cleaned up my house. It doesn't, you know, happen as often as it should. I'm sure we probably, most of us feel that way, right? And um, I took all the Christmas decorations down and I feel like my house is a lot bigger <laughs> than it was last week because now I have room on like tables and things. I, I don't really realize how much I put out until we go to put it away, right? So anyway, it's kind of nice, like fresh, the new start, like I was talking about. Hey, Chris, how are you? I'm sore, I'm sore everywhere. Um, Okay, what is she saying? Sally got her tiny cutter. Oh, yeah, Sally, Sally ordered it. So um, Nancy, uh, you kind of missed it. If you could pre-order the paper trimmer as a demonstrator up until January 2nd, like the day before celebration started, you could order that paper trimmer. Now, um, someone just needs to get the starter kit through you and then they can show you their cute little paper trimmer. So, um, but I have one also, and I will have it down at the studio if you wanna come see it sometime. Actually, if you wanna to come to the meeting next week. Uh, yeah, Sally, you're right, only allowed one as a demonstrator. So, um, okay. So this week we are gonna give away, these are super duper cute, I have to show you guys. I'm gonna pull them out too. These are, they call them the assorted pom-poms. They're these teeny tiny little pom-poms that come in fun colors. Um, let's see if we could say, ooh, I hope I don't dump these. Okay, so can you kind of see those? Woo, they look like candy almost, don't they? <laughs> Why does my mind always go that way? Okay, so I'm gonna say we have Bermuda Bay, we have white, I'm gonna say Grapefruit Grove, and then, I don't know, what do you guys think? It's whatever color 
I don't know. Are they pink or are they orange? Anyway, they're so cute. Let's pick one up. They're like, yeah, they're just these squishy, soft little balls. I can see um, having some fun <laughs> with the little pom-poms. So anyway, these are part of um, that birthday bonanza suite. So whatever that pinky orange color is, I feel like it's more orange, but I don't know. Um, it's really um, dreary here in Michigan today. And so um, it's kind of dark in my house and I can't see um, that color very well. So anyway, this is what we're gonna give away. These soup, they're so cute. Actually, I think you can see them a little better there. So share the Facebook Live video anywhere between now and next Thursday night. Or if you're new to me and you have not already signed up for my email list, which I will tell you is the number one way to stay informed about what is going on, because I'm kind of the email queen. Uh, sign up for my email list and your name will go in the drawing to win the cute little assorted pom-poms on next Friday's Facebook Live video. All right, I'm going to scoot those out of the way. So I have to tell you guys, we have, um, because celebration has happened, right, in that awesome starter kit deal, we get to welcome a new Inkspired stamper to our group. So I want to say welcome to Mrs. Mrs. Charlene Mogg. So congratulations on getting your starter kit and that awesome deal, Miss Charlene. And welcome to our Inkspired stampers group. So now she gets to part, be a part of our whole separate, we have a separate Facebook group. Um, we do meetings once a month. It's usually the third Tuesday of the month with, with this basketball season going on. We're actually going to do it next when next Wednesday. Yeah, I moved it. So Wednesday the 15th is our next Inkspired Stampers group meeting. Um, and if you can't ever make it live, um, if you're not local to us, we always do it on Facebook Live too. So, um, and lots of other great benefits. You get my PDF tutorials for free every month. Um, so an awesome reason to become an Inkspired Stamper or lots of awesome reasons. Plus we're a great group. So why wouldn't you wanna like be a part of our group, right? Um, so congratulations and welcome, like I said, to Ms. Charlene. And then because Charlene bought the starter kit through Ms. Julie Wilmot, she actually promoted to silver status, which is, that's a big leap. So let me, I have to just show you guys because I'm very proud. I have to um, show you my handy dandy, uh, my ready reference. This is something that that they're offering um, demonstrators can purchase these and it has a ton of great information about um, Stampin' Up and there's a whole there's actually an index in here and then lots of like info like on lingo and um, yeah they call it the Stampin' Up jargon buster there are different resources um, basically how to um, kind of a quick reference on things that you might wonder once you buy the starter kit. Um, it's like all compact and this fun little, I'm flipping, right? This fun little ready reference guide. So the one thing that I wanted to show, because I think this is kind of fun, they show you the different titles. I can take my sticky off now too. Um, and what you need to do, actually that's silver, right? Yep. What you need to do to get to silver. So just because I think this is fun, I wanted to use my ready reference and tell you guys. So the title requirements for silver, so for Julie, she reached $3,600 in what they call rolling 12 month sales. So for a block of 12 months, once you get to $3,600, you have met one of the requirements of getting to silver status. The other requirement is that you need one direct team member. So Charlene bought the starter kit through Julie. Now Julie promotes to silver. So congratulations, Miss Julie. That is an awesome, awesome feat, right? So the fun benefits that Julie now receives uh, she gets from Stampin' Up! a silver title necklace or money clip. She is definitely getting her 25%, what they call instant income, or basically her discount on her orders is at least 25%. Um, she actually, if she gets to $600 in sales in a month, she gets additional um, income off of everything that she sells to. They call it volume rebate. So basically it's just more commission off of your orders, right? She also gets 5,000 flex points from Stampin' Up! for achieving that title. In addition, two times a year, you get more flex points. In this case, for silver, you get 4,000 flex points two times a year when you maintain your title. And I think that's in like October and April, um, you get those flex points too. And then the fun part, flex points basically can be used to redeem for uh, product is what a lot of people do. You can get free catalogs, you can get cute like logo merchandise. It can help you pay, um, it can, well, not help you. But if you accumulate enough points, you can pay for your registration for our onstage events. Um, well, actually when you get a whole bunch 
bunch of flex points, you need 160,000 flex points, you can go on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. So this year we are working on the incentive trip to the East, it's an Eastern Caribbean cruise on the largest Royal Caribbean ship. So that's the one to work for. Work hard, get those points, save them up and earn the trip, right? So anyway, I just thought this was kind of fun. Plus, uh, through me, through our Inspired Stampers group, I love to reward um, anyone that promotes in my group. So she actually gets a $75 shopping spree from me as well, Miss Julie does for promoting the silver. So again, congratulations, lots of great benefits. Um, plus she gets that awesome discount on all of her orders too. So if you have any questions about that, let me know because um, the levels, you know, you just kind of keep moving up and you get bigger and better um, rewards, the, you know, the higher that you get in terms of titles. So congratulations again, Miss Julie. That is awesome for you. Okay, so let's do, I think we are going to do, yeah, let's do our other drawing. So I have my Thoughtful Blooms stamp set. So this is the, the drawing that we're going to do. If you put an online order in just of at least $30 last week, your name, and use the host code, your name went in the drawing to win the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set. And I always have to show because this was one of the first cards that I made with this stamp set. So you could make this cute card with your Thoughtful Bloom stamp set if you win it. You also, if you use the host code and order through me at least $30, you're going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me. If you bumped your order up to $50, you're also going to get, and I don't even have a full pack, but you're going to get the super sparkly champagne rhinestones. These are all coming. They're going to be here on Monday. I ordered a bunch of packs of these. So everybody that orders through me this month and spends at least $50 is going to get a pack of the rhinestones. They won't look like this. I promise I won't use most of them and send you a partial pack. I'll give you a full pack. Okay. So lots of good stuff as a thank you from me for ordering. So, okay, I had a couple of online orders and thank you guys so much. Every single online order is truly, truly appreciated. So thank you. That's what helps me. Honestly, that's like my paycheck uh, kind of for doing Facebook Lives, really. Um, so thank you. I appreciate that. It really kind of helps me allow, helps allow me to continue to do this too because you know, nobody wants to work and not get paid, right? So, okay, anyway, all right, we've got names in the drawing, so we are gonna do that now, right? Okay, so we're shaking these around, and the winner of the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set is, I have one in my hand here, Miss Heidi Sue Parsons Moore. All right, congratulations, Heidi Sue. She will get the, Miss Heidi Sue, you'll receive this Thoughtful Bloom stamp set in the mail for me. And then she'll get the cards and the um, rhinestones. And anybody that didn't get their name drawn will still get the cards and the rhinestones if their order was over $50. So thank you guys so much for your online orders. Like I said, I truly appreciate those. So, okay. All right, now, um, ooh, okay, this is what we're gonna give away. So next week, next Friday on Facebook Live, you'll get the Project Sell Demonstrate in just a couple minutes. Um, if you bump your order up to $50, you'll get your full pack of the rhinestones, champagne, awesome, beautiful rhinestones, and your name goes in the drawing to win the Sending You Thoughts stamp set. So this is that awesome stamp set that I featured last week as our product of the week. I think I showed you guys a bunch of great projects. Um, these are just great sentiments too. So I'm gonna um, tell you guys these one more time. So we've got, I'm gonna try to read them. Um, with a great big wish for happiness is this one. Then we've got happy birthday. Uh, what's this I hear? Well, all I can say is, Maybe um, congratulations is what I think, right? Um, this one was the one I used on the card that we made last week, right? If loving thoughts could heal, you'd be better already. I'm jumping all over the place. Uh, another sensational year of you and then congratulations, thanks. And sending a little something. So awesome stamp set, very versatile, lots of great sentiments in there, right? So put your online order in, use the host code. You can always find the host code on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and I'm gonna give it to you in just a few minutes when we flip that camera down. So I have more fun stuff to show you guys too. Okay, scooting things around. Let's see, yeah. Oh, and the other thing, I have a little sticky here that I had to read that I wanted to make sure to tell you guys that there are lots of great examples of cards that you could make with 
the sending you thought stamp set just scroll back through our Facebook group and I, like I said I posted a bunch of projects using these stamps so more fun ideas for you if you win the stamp set or if you don't win it it is a celebration stamp set so you can get it for free with your $50 order as well okay all right trying to stay organized I'm doing a, actually a pretty good job I have to pat myself on the back here for a sec okay all right, so quick reminders, today is January 10th. It's the last day. Hey, Susan, thank you. I'm glad you can join us. Today, January 10th, always the 10th of the month, is the last day to order your paper pumpkin kit. And they just posted that um, the punches, the heart punch pack, coordinate with the heart stamp set or stamp in the paper pumpkin stamp set. So they've kind of given us a little preview. It's going to be some kind of Valentine-y treats, I'm pretty sure. Hey, Tammy. Hello. I'm glad you can join us. Um, some kind of Valentine treat packaging, I'm pretty sure, in the, um, well, will be January paper pumpkin kit. So you get it like the middle of this month. Today is the last day to RSVP though, okay? So, or not RSVP, last day to sign up. So just go to paperpumpkin.com. You um, put your information in, it's super easy. If you don't already have a demonstrator, select me as your demonstrator and then that helps me get credit for your paper pumpkin subscription. Or just, you know, you can keep it as long as you want. I say subscription because you sign up and then you can stop um, anytime you want. And yes, those heart punches have lots of possibilities. <laughs> yes, and I can't wait to get my kit either, Sally. I am trying to be, so I, I always make all this stuff, and then um, I like to show it down at the studio. And then after Valentine's Day is over, I'm like, oh, okay, now what am I going to do with this? So this year, I'm trying to be better about, like, giving it out to people, like, maybe keep one or two just so I can show people. But, like, okay, I want to, like, just spread the love. So that's the plan this year. I'm going to be trying to do that more and more and more, is just sharing everything that I make, like, get it out there and share it with people because that's fun, right? Everybody loves to get these cute things too. So hey, Sandy, hello. I'm glad you can join us. Um, okay. Oh, a couple other reminders. We have a bingo at the Stamp Studio on Thursday, January 23rd. RSVP and payment are actually due next Monday, the 13th. Um, there's info on uh, my blog at gatheringinspiration.com about bingo or just email me if you want the PayPal link to sign up. Um, online bingo is coming. I don't know if I've even emailed about that yet, um, but let me make sure. It is coming on Thursday, February 27th. That is something that we do on a separate Facebook group. You just need to be able to get onto Facebook and clearly if you're watching on Facebook Live, you can get onto Facebook. So we have lots and lots of fun on the online bingo. I will send you your bingo cards in the mail. I always get a fun like swag bag of like fun goodies to send to you from our new catalogs, right? We play bingo, we do make and takes, um, and we just have an awful lot of fun. So an awful lot, a ton of fun. So. If you would like more info on online bingo, uh, Thursday, February 27th, and RSVP and payment are due by Monday, February 10th. So we got a little bit of time on that. Um, but email or message me and I can send you the PayPal link for that one as well. Um, weekend retreat is coming up on March 13th through the 15th. You get a free gift from me if you sign up by February 10th. So that's coming up, that'll be here quick. And then our one day retreat is on April 18th. You get a free gift from me if you sign up by March 20th. So you got a little bit of time on that one. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's cute. Thank you, Nikki. I'm glad that you love bingo. And I love that you love it. You've been, I think you've participated in all the online bingos that I've done. So thank you. So if you have any questions, you're wondering how it works, Nikki can um Nikki can tell you uh, how much fun she has, right? So she's already doing that. So thank you, Nikki. Um, but yeah, I would love to get as many people as we can. Obviously, so what I will tell you is um, the more people that we get, the more bigger, better prizes I can give away because it's all a numbers thing, right? I take your fee and part of that fee helps me get the prizes that that, that I um, offer to everybody for bingo. So yeah, the more people, the better, bigger, more massive, fabulous prizes we will give away. So yeah, I would love to, yeah, because there's no limit on that, really. Um, yeah, I mean, as many people as want to play, we can play. So yeah, that would be fun. I would love to have like a huge group of people playing online bingo. That would be very, very cool. So yeah. Um, okay, so, and oh, designer series paper share. That's the other thing. 
Kathy, hello, how are you? Thank you so much. I did get your online order, so thank you. Your name was in the drawing, and unfortunately, I didn't I didn't draw, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to say I didn't pick you, because that's not right. It's, it's all a random thing, but I put your name in there. Um, so thank you, though. I truly appreciate your order last week. Um, so you will get the projects that I demonstrated and the uh, champagne rhinestones as a thank you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And let me know, Kathy, if you have any questions about online bingo. I would love to have you join us for that, too. So, um, Oh, the other thing I was going to mention, designer series paper share. So I ordered the first round of it. I think it's going to be here Monday night. So I will get that out by the middle of the week. I need to get everything cut and packed and down to the post office and shipped out. So the first round of designer series paper share will be going out but I have room for more so if you want a sample a quarter of a pack of all of the designer series paper in the spring mini and the um, celebration brochure it is $26 so just um, email or send me a message and I can get you the PayPal link for that one as well Whew. okay I think we are ready yeah, I have some projects. Actually, I got my swaps, you guys. I was going to show them last week, and then I was like, oh, I just have too much to tell you guys about. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you um, all the swaps that I received. So I participated. I just did um, one swap with um, Celebration product and one swap with... Um, uh, spring mini catalog product. So I don't have them all here because I have some of them down at the studio, but I'm just going to flip the camera down and kind of show you them um, and then we will do our stamping. So give me one sec. We are going to get things situated here. Actually, let's do this. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. All right, we're doing okay. I was looking at the time and we are going to fly through the air and get us set up over here okay so let's see there we go okay it's never quite right there okay oh and I have to show you this cute grid paper it is still I got it a while ago and then I wanted to use my holiday grid paper but isn't this cute so they say paper pumpkin it's better than a box full of puppies <laughs> it's kind of a cute little tagline but they've got all these cute little puppies um, there too so anyway I thought that was fun and you can order this so if you like this bright fun um, grid paper I will give you the item code because I don't think I have that handy but I'll put that on my blog the other thing actually while I'm thinking about it um, because I have class this afternoon and then it's my dad's birthday and basketball game tonight I am not going to be able to get everything updated until tomorrow on my blog so if you're looking for any of the item codes or measurements or anything they're going to be on there tomorrow instead of today so thank you I appreciate your patience um, I just wasn't able I was hoping I could get it done yesterday and this other crazy thing called work got in the way <laughs> you know end of year stuff beginning of year stuff um, it's always kind of a nutty time of year. So, okay. Um, all right, I'm going to pull this back in because I want to show you guys. Here's the host code that you will use. Um, just make sure if you order over $150, you do not have to use this host code because I want you to get your own host benefits, okay? Um, you will still get all of my freebies. You still get the cards that I demonstrate. You still get the free embellishment. Um, I just want you to get your own host rewards, so don't use that host code if your order is over $150 okay um actually you know what I'm gonna show you real quick because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget we have this is the from my heart class to go kit so I just want to show you super quick you would make two oops things kind of flipped you would make two of this card you would make two of these cute little treat boxes we have these other two cute little mini three by three cards you would make two of these cards and then also this fun little tree and I put the little Twix bars because I thought those were really pretty in there you'd make two of that little treat so all the details are on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com if you're interested in ordering um, the from my heart class to go RSVPs are due for this by Wednesday January 22nd I believe it is because I want to make sure I have enough time to get everything uh, prepped and sent out to you so you can have them ready for Valentine's Day okay so we're gonna kind of just, I'm gonna just scroll through these fairly quickly. I just wanna give you a little peek because you might see, I had so many pretty cards that I thought, you know what, you guys might see some of these on Facebook Live because I am I love to case, you guys know that. Uh, but this is the awesome, and this one I do have to because 
This one did not really catch my eye. I'm gonna be very, very honest with you, but this is one of those, um, it's the Power of Hope bundle. So you get the Power of Hope stamp set and then that crackle um, embossing folder, which I think is very well highlighted. Look at that gold foil. You can really see that crackle on there, right? Isn't that cool? Today is a day for new beginnings. I love that sentiment though. So, okay, so that's a great example of celebration product. Free, so you get the stamp set and the embossing folder with the red button. It's free with a $100 purchase, okay? All right, so now we're gonna kind of keep flipping through here. Scoot those over, isn't this fun? Look at that, um, the B, so I don't know the names. When am I ever gonna learn the names? Plus that stamp, the um, Thoughtful Blooms stamp and the punch, right? Isn't that cool? Love that one. Here's another one with that punch. And then I love that sentiment. I'm always amazed, but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. Very, very, oh, and then the, um, uh, is it, oh, what's the name of that one? The new embossing folder that's part of the Tropical Suite that I cannot think of the name of right now. Isn't this fun though? The um, tulip punch is beautiful and all these layers in that embossing folder. <laughs> Yay, yes. Uh, oh my goodness, this one's great too. And again, the awesome sentiment. I love her color choices here too. Isn't that pretty? All right, I'm not gonna give you names of anything. Most of these were celebration products. So again, that... What is that paper? I do have to start learning these names, don't I, guys? The Golden Honey Designer Series paper. That's what this one is a good example of. Very pretty, huh? Oh, she used some of the sequins, too, um, from the Celebration catalog, right? And then another. So everyone loves that sentiment, right? Very pretty, though, huh? And more with the punch, too. That What's that bloom? It's like a small bloom punch. Is that what it's called? Um, where did it go? Is it this way or that way? There it is. Yeah, the small bloom punch is what she used on that one right there. Is that guy. How about that? More of the bumblebee. Super cute, huh? Isn't that fun? Can you guys see the embossing on it too? There we go. Oh, in the same embossing folder. This might be the Parisian. I think this is that scrolly. Very pretty. I love how she stamped. I never think to do that either. Do you guys think to do that? To um, stamp. So if you do this, you're going to want to stamp first and then run it through the embossing folder. Because otherwise, if you stamp on the bumpiness, it won't stamp as well. So, But isn't that so pretty? With the new punches too, the new label punches. I like how she layered those too. It's funny how you see new things every time you look at these. I love this one, I think, because I love the bright yellow, the Daffodil Delight. So lucky to have a friend like you. And I love, this is actually from that, um, the Heart Felt stamp set. So very cool. You can use that not just for Valentine's Day. I like that. This beautiful thank you. With That is some of that Best Dress Designer Series paper and the pretty um, white, like, crinkled seam binding ribbon. Beautiful, right? How about this one? Another fun one with the tulip punch and more of that crinkled seam binding ribbon. And I am not sure which paper pack that is from. I am gonna be on a mission to find that, right? This is some of the beautiful poppy um, designer series paper. She used that scrolly embossing folder. Thinking of you, sweet friend. Oh, I like that sentiment too. Very pretty, I love that paper. And then this is more of the Parisian, the beautiful. These are the moments we'll look back on with joy. Oh, that's going to be a great, that, that needs to go on a scrapbook page too, I'd say. And her bow is so perfect. Look at that. Can you guys see? Oh, it's like the perfect little bow. So cute. And I love that Parisian designer series paper. This is kind of cool if you're musically inclined, which I'm not. I mean, I like music, but I, <laughs> I tried to play the flute in high school, but it, it wasn't, it wasn't good, ladies. <laughs> All right. You're the music in my heart. Oh, I love that. That's a great Valentine one too. How cool. I have really not even noticed that stamp set. I'm going to have to find that one. Hey, Debbie, how are you doing? And then this one, I love these little, oh, there's your pom-pom. That's how you can use the little pom-poms right there. Thank you for the share too, Debbie. I appreciate that. I know, Susan, all the cards are beautiful, aren't they? This swap that I participate in, I absolutely love because 
I make two cards and I make multiples of them and I send them away and then I get this awesome package in the mail with all of these fabulous cards with, for example, like this is maybe a stamp set I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't buy maybe, um, but now I have a great example to show you guys here and down at my classes at the stamp studio too. So it's a great, great thing to do, swapping is, because you get lots of fun ideas. But look at the little, I love the little pom-pom on his head. This calls for confetti, super cute. And then these are some of those, I think it's called the sweetly stitched dies. Can you guys see the detail on there? Okay, couple more and then we're gonna do our stamping. I'm ready, because I need to make sure I get down to the stamp studio on time too. <laughs> oh my goodness, more sequins. These are the poppy sequins and that beautiful poppy paper and stamp set. Life is better with a friend like you. Awesome. <laughs> very cool. And then this one's very pretty too, isn't it? The happy birthday. I love how she layered that too. That's a nice layering option with that new punch, right? And then the beautiful paper. Okay, one more last one, and then we are doing our stamping. And I love that window. I never think to do that either. That's what's fun about getting swaps too, is you get lots of ideas that, um, you know, now I can, I have a great idea to use that little window like that sometimes. So beautiful, beautiful card. So like I said, you guys might see us making something, one of those or something like it on a future Facebook Live. All right, I'm checking to make sure, but we are ready to do our stamping. All right, I think we're good. I need a quick sip of water. Okay, so <clears throat> I think you guys, have you all seen our product of the week, the Clubhouse Suite? And actually I have a bunch of these dies pulled out. So I love, so my family, um, my mom and dad, well, my dad is a huge golfer. My mom enjoyed, well, she's golfed a lot too. Um, <laughs> she was never really very good at it, but she just always enjoyed it very much. So that's probably more how I am. I would be like my mom as a golfer, like really not very good, but liking to be out on the golf course, um, you know, on a beautiful summer day with the ladies and just enjoying time with friends. Um, and my mom and dad golf together a lot too. That was like one of the Friday night things, like most every Friday night, they would get together with friends and go out and golf in the summer. So anyway, when I saw this suite of products, I thought of my dad, to be very honest. Uh, my mom is um, has passed away quite a few years ago, so I think of her, but I can't make her a card like I can make a card for my dad for his birthday, right? So when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is what we're getting. So I'm going to show you guys. What I decided was I made two cards with this suite, and one card is for his birthday today, and I'm like, I'm going to tuck the other card away, and I'm going to be all ready for next year already too. And who knows, if I make more cards with it, maybe I'll make a few more, and I'll be all set for the next few years for birthdays for my dad. <laughs> which would feel really amazing too. So, okay, so yeah, so awesome stamp set. And I love, okay, so, and they used a lot of puns too, which I think are super, super cute. And you're welcome, Sally. I'm glad to show you guys my swaps. Um, okay, so we've got the happy birthday sentiment. That one's awesome, right? And then this fun one, you're the greatest guy by par. <laughs> I love, I love the puns. And then this one is good too, the Happy Father's Day. Um, and then this one is, I love this too. I hope the next year is full of green fairways, blue skies, and short putts. And then we've got a great golfer there. And then the little golf ball and the pin and then another golf club. And the awesome thing, and like I said, I pulled a bunch of these out because we're going to use them. But you can see here's the little golf club that will um, cut that one out. Here's the golf ball on the tee. Some little golf balls too that even, I think they, this one definitely makes the dimples. This one's like a sprig of grass, right? And then um, the little pin and a tee and then a label. And then all the others are over here because we're going to use these. So you'll see these in action in just a moment. Okay, so this card we actually are making down at the stamp studio today and on Wednesday we had class too. So I thought it was great, just a, a good masculine card, because I thought if you don't have a golfer in your life, you could just not put the um, little golf clubs on there. But for me, they totally made the card, because can you see the detail? So it die cuts them, and it like does the embossing, and they look like these super cute little teeny tiny golf clubs. I just loved uh, that those dies. They're so cute. So, okay, we're going to put that over there, and I am going to get everything out that we need. 
so we can make this cute card. I'll show you too. This is the twine. This is the combo pack. So you get uh, basic black. I think that's Poppy Parade, Night of Navy, and Garden Green. It's like a four-pack combo pack of twine in there, which is perfect because you don't really necessarily put ribbon on masculine cards, but you can put twine. Okay. Uh, you know what I want to do? I'm going to give you dimensions for all of these things. So we are going to start with, this is a Knight of Navy card base. Okay, card stock, Knight of Navy card stock, I guess I should say, starts out on the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches, okay? And then on the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card base. I did put a piece of Whisper White in the inside and the designer series paper. Those are both the same size. So we've got our Whisper White and our Clubhouse, I think it is called, designer series paper that measure four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? Then what else we need? Actually, everything else is scraps other than this basic gray piece that measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter, okay? Everything else we are gonna use for stamping and die cutting. So we have some silver foil, we have some garden green, a couple of whisper white pieces, and a knight of navy, okay? So let's scoot these things right back there. So let's do our stamping and then we will do our die cutting. So, okay, this piece I want to get my Knight of Navy ink out. Okay, I need to go get my glasses. Hold on, hold on. There, this is gonna help me. Then I'll be able to see <laughs> whether I'm stamping this upside down well i guess it wouldn't matter if you stamp right in the middle if you do it upside down you can just flip it over but i think that's so cute you're the greatest guy by par <laughs> really it should be like by eagle or something because that's even better than a par right but that pun doesn't work very well okay so we're going to be tricky we actually used i'll show you what we're going to do so i didn't you could keep this father's day i wanted it to be a birthday card because I thought, who's thinking about Father's Day already, right? That's, I guess if you're really ahead of the game, which I never am, so that's why I'm not thinking about it at all. But isn't that cool? Look at that. Happy Father's Day. Love that, right? Cool, like, kind of crescent around there. But instead, we are going to stamp this birthday, which is not upside down. Good. Okay. From the Well Said Stamp Set. So... This is an awesome stamp set right here's the birthday that I use. Can you see it's a 51 stamp stamp set? Well said. This is the most expensive stamp set in the catalogs. So if you buy the starter kit and you don't already have the stamp set and you think, oh, I could use a 51 piece stamp set, get this one because it's the most expensive one in the catalog. Plus you can do all these fun with things with it like this, right? So we're gonna put the birthday right over top of Father's Day. So you can do it either way you want, right? Okay, I think we have stamped everything. Now we need to do our die cutting. So we're gonna scoot that out of the way. Let's move those up there, right? Okay, so I'm gonna grab, oh, I forgot my embossing plate. I thought of that last night and then I walked away and forgot that thought. You guys don't have any idea how that works, do you? happens to me all the time, unfortunately. Okay, well, we're gonna do our die cutting and then I'll go grab that. So we want this one we're gonna cut out, this one we're gonna cut out. Can we fit all of these on here? I wonder if my platform is gonna behave. We're gonna do two, two different times, I think. Okay, so we want that little thing that goes over our birthday. All right, I'm gonna pull all these out actually. Okay, here's this, I don't know, I call it a crescent, whatever it is, right? We're going to put this on our garden green, and then this is like, a, hmm, I don't know, some banner type of thing. We're going to put this one on here. And this is the one, I guess this, well, both of the white pieces, these really need to be lined up. So we got that one there. We're going to put our this thing around our birthday. So this little label is in this um set of dies the golf club dies whatever they're called the yeah oh, look at that golf club dies that's what they're called so you get that longer banner and then you get that little short banner in there too okay oops 
Don't crank that quite enough. All right, I think that did pretty well. Good stuff. Okay, so we've got that little guy. Let's get that one there. You have to keep these organized, ladies, because I gotta get them back down in the studio. Can't be messing up the plan down there too, right? Ooh, I love that. Isn't that cool? There's something about that that I really, you could probably have some fun with this. Um, it's almost like greenery too. Like if you cut it in half, you could do something different with it. Okay, so now we are going to, oh, did I bring that? I think I did. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I did. Oh, I was in a little panic. Okay, so the stitched shape dies. We need, this is um, the second largest. I'm gonna flip this over to make sure. Yep, this is the second largest square. We're gonna put that on our Knight of Navy piece. And then our little golf clubs. These guys are so cute. Okay, we're gonna put those on our they like they want to be right next to each other. That's okay. Let's get this one on here. And we're good to go. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't matter if they're right next to each other as long as they're not on top of each other. You might hurt them if you try to cut them on top of each other, right? Okay. So we've got our square. That stitched baby right there, right? Okay, staying organized, really trying hard. Okay, so these are kind of fun, but they um, they stick in here, but I'm gonna show you a trick. This is what we were doing down at the studio the other day. This is super technical. Okay, and if it doesn't work the first time, now it'll probably take like three or four times just because we're on the... <gasps> There, okay, it did come out. Like usually the first time doesn't work, but the second fling does. But that's gonna take, okay. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> come on, you silly die. Okay, you could get your paper piercing tool, but seriously, they popped right out. You know what, maybe I needed to, um, you know that, that big shot's different down at the studio too. Okay, this was supposed, oh, there we go. Okay, so it did pop up, good. That was supposed to be a great example of how easy it is to just fling those around. Okay, but look at these. They're so delicate, right? Oops, and it keeps flipping over. Can you guys see? Look at, it's got the detail, like it really is. There's your three iron right there. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we need to not lose those pieces. So we're gonna put those right there. So we have to do our embossing. I gotta go grab my other platform and the blue plate. One sec, I'll be right back. cutting machine again too. All right, here we go. So the Argyle, absolutely Argyle embossing folder. <laughs> you never thought, well, I was, maybe that's why I wasn't throwing them hard enough. I probably flung them even harder down at the studio, but you know, I thought maybe I had to like temper myself a little bit. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes it's the easiest way <laughs> to, to get, especially because those are so teeny tiny. Like I said, if I had my paper piercing tool, I could probably poke it right out. But really, normally I only had to fling two times. The first one usually didn't work, and this maybe it loosened it up a little bit, and the second one came right out. So it didn't generally take four or five flings. But look at that. Isn't that cool? The Absolutely Argyle Embossing Folder. We actually used it last week. Look at how different it looks on the white, right? It was just kind of a nice subtle background and then look at on the gray, how much different it looks, right? Okay, whoa, excuse me, flinging everything around here. Okay, all ready to go for the next one. Okay, I think we are ready to put things together. One more sip of water. I'm gonna need this little guy too, I'm sure, when I go to add some adhesive. Okay, let's put this piece on the inside. Okay. <laughs> I love the crying face emoji too, Rosemary. <laughs> My kids send those to me a lot, you know, when I ask like a really dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> and I do laugh. I usually do laugh. It's rare that, you know, it offends me. Every once in a while, they're like, oh my God, mom. But, you know, I take it. Okay. 
There we go. We're going to put that designer series paper on there. We are going to add some more adhesive on the back. I want to put a good amount of adhesive on this piece and get it right in the corners because I don't like it when it lifts up. And let's see, I think I wanted this. So can you guys kind of see the orientation? It can either go tall or wide, but because our argyles are going tall on here, I want it to be tall on there too. Oh, shoot, you know what? I did this the other day too when I was designing this card. We need to add, okay, hold on. Good thing I didn't press super hard. So we are gonna run some of our garden green baker's twine. We're just gonna wrap this around and you just have to kind of tuck it at the back. I like to kind of crisscross it a little bit. There. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I didn't, this is not popped up on dimensionals. I just wanna make sure that stays down well. Okay, now we can put this piece on here. I'll start futzing with these things and never stop. So we're not gonna do that there, okay. Now I'm gonna press super firmly on there. We are gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our Knight of Navy stitched square, okay. Pop those babies off. This is when you guys are always so quiet. It's almost like I can hear the little fur most of the time. And then when I get to the stamping, I'm like, oh, everyone's so quiet, which I guess is, is all right because everyone's concentrating, right? Okay, we're going to put those on there. Now, let me remember, I think I just ran some adhesive like that. And then we're going to add our little golf clubs. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I get such a kick out of these things. I just think maybe because we haven't had them before. And I just know my dad's gonna love these cards. Well, he better anyway. He has no idea how much all this takes, right? He's a guy and doesn't pay much attention to that stuff. Okay, so now I have to remember, because I did this one all of like a couple days ago. Yeah, so I couldn't remember if I, yeah, this has to be just on adhesive. So I'm gonna use my little silicone mat here. We're gonna add just a little bit of adhesive on there. And I kind of didn't want to cover up the, the handles on there. So we're going to do that, put those on there. Then we are going to add a little bit of adhesive to our birthday. And we're going to cover up the Father's Day. So we're going to put that. And if you get it just right, you cover, cover up most of it. You might see a little bit of scrolly down below, but that did not bother me at all. Okay. And then we are gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind this guy. And check this out. So we're gonna just pop him up right on there. Isn't that cool? I just love this card. I think I just have had so much fun playing with this whole suite. I love, the paper's all really cool too. So if, you're, if you don't have like golfers in your life and you don't need that, like the stamp or the dies, the paper is great too. I should have shown you the back side of that. I'll have to do that on the next one. Can we see? Can I lift it up? Because I don't even remember what's on the back side. Oh, it's the, well, yeah, this one's more golfy. They're not all golfy, but that, those are like the pins. Um, on the green. But anyway, this plaid or argyle, I guess it is, would be great for masculine cards too, right? Okay, so there's the first card. Let me just kind of tidy these things up a little bit. And we will show you the next one. So hopefully you guys had fun with that product of the week this week too. I know I love those. It really has been good to help me focus on something too, because sometimes I'm like, oh, what are we going to do on Facebook Live? And now I know whatever the product of the week is, generally, that's what we're going to do on Facebook Live. Okay, so here, this is my original card. I think this is this year's birthday card because I loved it so much. I love the designer series paper with the golf balls and the tees. And there's something about that golfer. Now, my dad doesn't look anything <laughs> like that golfer, but it's, you know, the idea of it. And I love these wooden elements too. So the other thing I will tell you guys is for these wooden elements, 
um, here, I'm gonna show you them right here. So we have a bunch of these elements. Those little things, I thought something just fell out and I threw it in the trash at first, but those are supposed to be little golf balls, okay? So those little little wooden circles, if they pop out when you open up your package, of these are called the country club elements. Don't throw them away, okay? So I'll show you, because we have three sheets. I think two of them. Well, you've got this one here, and then these are the same, right? So look at, you've got the little banners that you could stamp on, the little pins, like on the 18th green, woo, you're done. The little um, golf clubs, the cute little golf balls too, and then the tees. And then I loved that little piece also. And then these over here, you could do some stamping on these things also too. So very cool set of, they're called the Country Club Elements, okay? I wasn't gonna remember that name. All right, so let's get to our stamping and die cutting. Okay, so we need this one here. Okay, actually let's put that, we're gonna put that one up there. Okay, so again, I'm gonna tell you guys about measurements. So this time I started with a Knight of Navy. This is a tall orientation card, I'm gonna say. So our Knight of Navy cardstock, this time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, and then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So we made a tall card like that, okay? Oops. Then I did use another piece of Whisper White. Same thing, I love just covering, love using that designer series paper to really kind of show off the card. So again, a white, Whisper White, and our Country Club Designer Series paper with there. So there's some fun plaid on the back too. So they did keep it really versatile. If you don't have a golfer, no big deal. You've got the other side you can use. Okay, so these measure the four by five and a quarter inches. And then one more, this is the back side of that paper right there, right? This strip is gonna go right there. And this one measures, what do we have? One and a half by four inches. And then everything else is, um, scraps of paper that we're going to do our stamping and die cutting on. So let's do our stamping. So I'm going to do this on the inside first. Uh, let's make sure. There we go. I was thinking it is upside down, isn't it? There we go. That fun. Oh, that eye didn't come out. We're going to try that again. This is maybe a little bit long for that block. So let's see, I'm gonna press down there and make sure I got that. There we go. I hope next year is full of green fairways, blue skies, and short putts. Ha, <laughs> so cute. All right, and then we also need to stamp happy birthday. This is a sentiment that is in, so this happy birthday as opposed to the birthday that we used out of the well said stamp set. So I've got my Knight of Navy ink. We're gonna just stamp that. We're gonna use our other banner on that one. And then our golfer guy. In this one is going to be in um, basic gray ink, and I'm going to use this just to make sure I get a good solid image. So we're going to just keep him right laying down on the table. Sometimes with those big stamps like that, it's easier to just do it kind of stamping it upside down. Right. Awesome, there's so much detail too. I think that's what's so cool. Like, it's like you can see the wrinkles in his shirt and his pants or something. Very, very cool. Okay, so we're gonna scoot those guys out of the way and that one too. Make sure I don't have the ink so it's not causing me trouble. Okay, so now we are gonna die cut these guys. And we're gonna do this two times also because that one dies really big. Okay, so we've got our golfer and our happy birthday. So we have our golfer right there. And then we're gonna grab, this is the other. So these are great too, these dies, because you get those labels there also, right? Two of them. You get this longer one and then that little um, skinnier, not as wide, I guess. One that we used on the birthday. Okay, that looks good there. Alrighty, get those babies cut out. 
love how they just pop right out of there, right? Oops, now we're kind of in view, right? Okay, this one and this one. I'm gonna scoot that guy out of the way too. Quiet, it's so quiet. And then one more. We are going to use, these are the stitched nested labels dies. I'm gonna pull this one out and I'll show you guys. This is the second largest die in there, okay? I'm just gonna pop that right on there and cut that one out. And then I think, well, hey, Bev, how are you doing? I'm so glad you can join us. And Miss Kay, you're back. Yay. Okay, I'll pop this one out right there, okay? So we are all good with those. All right, I think we've got all of our die cutting done. Now we can pop this hot little number together here, right? Okay, so again, I'm gonna put this on the inside. And you guys know this, right? Even though I stamped on this side, and maybe if you hold it up in the light, you can see through it. Once you put it on your card, you will never know that I stamped back there, right? You can't even see it now, can you? Okay, all right, we're gonna add this designer series paper. Here we go, put that one on there. All right, and then we're gonna add this one on to the front of our card, maybe right about there, okay? We are getting there now. I wanna add some more twine. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make sure I do it before I put that on, right? Um, instead of after, like last time. Okay, oh, let's see. Sharon is saying, I saw a card made with this DSP with the golf scene in case. Oh, that's true. Yes, because the paper, the designer series paper comes with something that kind of looks like this. And then there's a tree too, and you can just color it in. You're right. So you could just use the designer series paper and not even get the stamp set. That is true too. Thank you, Miss Sharon. That's a good, it's all white. That page is all white. And then I think it's kind of, um, maybe, maybe it looks kind of like this. It's either black or gray, and then you can just color it all in. That's right. Good idea. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of adhesive. I have to lay that down because I can't see where I put that otherwise. Okay, so we're gonna do that and run around. I just went around like three times and then I'm gonna add some more adhesive. Actually, I probably should put it down here because I think I've come down this way. We'll figure it out there. So I just ran kind of like three, well, I need more adhesive right here is where I need it. Okay, we'll get it. All right, I'm gonna just trim that off. Okay, we're gonna put that right around. Come on, work with me a little bit there, Mr. Twine. Okay, all right, now we need some dimensionals on the back of this thing. I did kind of dimensional this thing up a bit so while we're at it, we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of our golfer man, too. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we can put these guys on. Oh, yes, colored with the blends. That's right, Sharon. Yep, they, they colored that paper with the blends. Perfect. That's a great idea, too. All right, so we've got that right there. Now we're going to use, because I don't want to forget, we're going to pop out some of these little golf club wooden elements, right? And these are perforated, so you just, but you wanna be careful with them because they are, uh, you know, they're a little bit fragile, so you wanna be nice to them. And let's see, what am I looking for? I want this thing right here. We are gonna put um, not along the whole thing because it's kind of popped up, so this was all ready to go the other day, and now, watch, it won't cooperate with me because, oh, I think I do see some, because I'm trying to do it on Facebook Live, right? There, I think that'll do it. So you guys see, just add a little bit, 
And we're going to put this guy maybe down right about there. We're just going to press firmly to make sure that stays on. Now we're going to add our little golfer man. <laughs> you know what? That one might not work there. I don't want it to pop up too much. We are instead going to add a little baby dimensional um, down below. Because I was afraid this dimensional was going to get stuck right there, and I don't want that. So we're going to put that little baby guy right down there. Okay. So that should work. Right, we got maybe right about there. I'm trying to futz around with it, right? Okay, now the other thing, we've got our little happy birthday. So again, I'm going to grab one of the baby dimensionals, and I only want it behind the birthday side, because on here, I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive there, because I don't want both sides. Um, this has already popped up, so I don't want that popped up too, okay? So we're going to put that maybe right about there, adhere him down, and then last step, we're going to add just a couple of dots. Um, and this is no depiction of real life golfing, although maybe in my case it would be, um, where the ball, um, like I whiffed it or something, like the ball's not anywhere where it's supposed to be, right? <laughs> okay, so in a pinch, can we use, yeah, there we go, there's one, there's two. Now I have to find those. Oh, actually, I brought my take your pick tool, and we're going to try to use that thing I'm gonna put that, let's see if it will cooperate. So the thing is you want it to stick to it when you want it to stick to it, but you wanna let, let it go, right? You want it to let go of what you're picking up once you've got it where you want it, right? So I guess you kinda of have to use your finger. All right, now I'd say the best thing is to just not touch those. They're there, they're good. I'm not gonna futz with it. They're just gonna dry. And now on live television, because I have my glasses on, I'm gonna attempt to put, oh, I did it! Put that little pin back in there. Awesome. So I thought this was all dried up, to be honest. I was using my Shimmery Crystal Effects, which I love as an adhesive, but I was like, oh, I guess I should try this. And like I said, I thought it was all gummed up in there, but that pin really does work. I have not too much left in here, really, but this has lasted me a good long while and it has not gotten, um, all gummed up either. So I've been able to use it this whole time. So, all right. I think we did it, ladies. Oh my gosh. How about this? So I hope that you guys enjoyed these projects, right? As always, I would love your business. I would love for you to put an order in through me and use this host code. But again, only if your order is under $150, okay? If it's over $150, don't use that host code. I promise either way, you will get these cards. If it's under $150, use the host code. If it's over $150, don't use the host code. But you'll get both of these projects that I demonstrated as a thank you from me. If you order at least $50, you um, also get a full package, I promise, of those rhinestones. And you are going to get your name in the drawing for the Sending You Thoughts Celebration stamp set with just a $30 online order. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed the projects. I hope you guys are having a good beginning of 2020. Is anybody having a hard time writing 2020 instead of 19 or 18 or whatever, right? <laughs> I know I am. So thank you guys. And thank you, Nikki. I'm glad you enjoyed the cards. And Sally, I'm glad you enjoyed them too. So have a great weekend and we will see you guys next Friday at 1130. Bye everybody.